Our objective for today is to illustrate and explain the conceptual framework. For our first activity, entitled Word Day, you need to rearrange the letters provided to form a word. The words that you will form are words that are related in today's discussion. You will be given 10 seconds to guess each word. For number 1, The answer is conceptual framework. Number two. The answer is model. For number three. The answer is Framework So our topic for today is all about conceptual framework A framework is comprised of different concepts and theories that serve as the building blocks to strongly clarify the basis of the study Conceptual framework is the researcher's idea on how the research problem will have to be explored it embodies a specific direction will have to be undertaken. So the conceptual framework provides an explanation of the scope and range of a concept or construct and discusses cases that combine two or more theories. This framework guides the researcher in synthesizing the different theories used in formulating a new one. So here is the guide on how to make a conceptual framework. First, you need to do a literature review. Then, you need to identify the variables in the study. You need to generate the conceptual paradigm and write your narrative. The result of a clear understanding of conceptual framework is a diagrammic presentation of the study called the paradigm. To create a paradigm, you need to consider the three components. These are the boxes, lines, and arrows. Boxes means variable, lines pertain to connection or correlation, and arrow denotes causal influence or cause-effect relationship. These three components are commonly seen in the conceptual paradigm. There are two kinds of conceptual paradigm. First, we have input process output model. This is one of the most used paradigms that seek to understand a factor or variable that causes a problem or change in the subject. This model is largely used when the research attempt to isolate the factor or major variable that causes the problem, subject, or phenomenon under investigation. So here is the example of conceptual paradigm using IPO model or input process output model. For the input, we have the achievement in mathematics, the learning orientation, performance orientation, academic self-efficacy. The process on how these inputs will be analyzed, we have assessment of data using questionnaire interview observations, a statistical analysis of gathered data, and academic self-efficacy. While the expected output will be the improved achievement in mathematics, enhanced learning orientation, and development of adaptive behaviors and academic self-efficacy. For the independent variable, dependent variable or IVDV model is used in experiment-based studies. Independent variable refer to the presumed cause while the dependent variable refer to the presumed effect. So here is the example of independent variables. So here is the example of IVDV model or independent variable dependent variable model of conceptual framework. So for the independent variable, we have the student-related factors, faculty-related factors, and university-related factors. So for the dependent variable, 
we have the level of proficiency in English in terms of listening, speaking, reading, and writing as measured by proficiency test and final grade. So here is the example of conceptual framework and conceptual paradigm. The illustration is the conceptual paradigm and the explanation of the illustration is the conceptual framework. So this is also an example of ITO model or input process output model. For our activity to practice task, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the best answer. Which of the following components of conceptual framework denotes variable A arrow, B box, C circle, D line? Timer starts now. The answer is letter B, box. For the second question, it is used to illustrate what researchers expect to find through research, including how the variables relate to each other. Letter A, conceptual framework. Letter B, research protocol. Letter C, statement of the problem. Letter D, theoretical framework. The answer is letter A, conceptual framework. Which of the following may be included in constructing conceptual paradigm? Dependent variable, abstract, independent variable, or modulating variable? So the options are letter A, 2 and 3 only, letter B, 1 and 4 only, letter C, 2, 3, and 4 only, letter D, 1, 2, the answer is letter C, 2, 3, and 4 only. For the next question, for items 4 and 5, you may refer to this illustration. Which illustrates cause-effect relationship? Letter A, arrow, B, box, C, side, D, none of these. Letter A, arrow. For the last question, based from the illustration a while ago, what best describes or explains the paradigm? Letter A, the paradigm cannot be explained. B, the output of the number of hours in social media is the number of study hours. C, the study aims to explain or determine if the number of study hours depends on the number of hours in social media. And letter D, the study would like to determine if the number of hours in social media depends on the number of study hours. And the answer is letter C. The study aims to determine if the number of study hours depends on the number of hours in social media. For our activity 3, identify whether the statement describes conceptual framework or theoretical framework. Broader in scope as it can be used in different studies. Answer is theoretical framework. For the next, 
more focus on scope as it directly relates to the study. The answer is conceptual framework. For the third, a set of related concepts that will be specifically used in the study. The answer is conceptual framework. A set of related concepts that will be specifically used in the study. The answer is theoretical framework. Lastly, may combine different units into one cohesive framework. The answer is conceptual framework. For our activity for class participation, Write your conceptual framework of your study in the comment section of our end page. And for activity 5, illustrate your conceptual paradigm of your study and submit it in our Google Classroom as your expected output. You will be graded using this rubric, first conceptual framework model, excellent valid situation is for significance of the topic issue within a passive framework. For background theory, background theory is presented objectively with no obvious gaps. Role of theory on quantitative research demonstrates understanding of the role of theory in conducting or in quantitative research. If you have questions, you may approach your research teachers, Sir George Cordova, Sir Jeffrey Orante, Mamrada Penefiel. Sir Jose Angelo Nate and Sir Robert Perard. In conclusion, a framework is comprised of different concepts and theories that serve as the building blocks to strongly clarify the basis of the study. The conceptual framework is the researcher's idea on how the research problem will have to be explored. It embodies the specific direction will have to be undertaken. So that's it, my dear grade 12 students. I hope you enjoyed this day and learned something about conceptual framework. Have a nice day, goodbye, and see you next time.